So, in this part we're going to do some uh, refactoring for our camera and the way it, its logic works uh, a little bit and, and that is because I want to add a few features and I want to have a camera system that I can control uh, easily without having to worry uh, without uh, having to add a lot of code basically okay uh, visually it will mostly look the same but we will have a lot more control uh, by code and you will see that it's uh, it looks way more tight just because we are going to do the changes okay in all the cases we have that we are using the camera okay. both in cover positions and all that so let's not waste any time we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a camera holder and we're going to create a new script which is going to be called camera states now this states is going to hold the information uh, on basically what states our camera uh, can have so if it's a normal state of course we don't want uh, a lot of changes if it's a uh, cover left we're saving the pivot position target positions okay cover right cover center and we're handling if we are crouching or not differently and what we are also handling differently is when we are aiming at this point I only change the field of view of uh, the main camera for aiming and I think I like it better this way okay so let's go and see the camera state script so we're going to start with a list where well we're going to have it into a namespace and we're going to start with a new class which is going to be called states but it's inside the camera scripts the namespace okay so that we do not confuse ourselves with other stuff we already have these are the variables we can save pretty much for any camera state this is the enum of what uh, state it is the pivot position, a target position, minimal angle, maximum angle and if you want to ignore the Y or not one thing to note is pivot position and target position you should think of it not as hard coded but uh, this will be applied into let me drop my prefab this is going to be applied on the actual yeah I didn't need the prefab but anyway on the local position of the pivot okay we have our camera over here we have our pivot so any value I'm going to add over here the pivot position is going to be applied on top of the pivot of this okay on top of this position and the target position will, is going to be applied as the offset for for basically the position our character have okay and there's a few reasons for that now let's see let's see the camera state type this is an enum but it's outside of the main namespace because I want to access this from the input handler okay because there's no need to write a whole railroad just to get an enum okay simple of course it's a singleton and let's close this let's close this let's start from the beginning the other variables we're going to use is of course we need a reference to the current state we are in public low crouch y so how much we the change will be uh, when we are crouching on the y the normal field of view the aiming field of view and the current field of view I'm not making this public because I want to have these values every time no matter what I set on my prefab okay you can make them public but just make sure to have the correct values everywhere now of course we need reference to the camera the camera pivot which we are going to drag and drop and assign because we are lazy a reference to a free camera look or a camera properties basically a reference to the time manager since we are using the time manager so let's just use the correct delta we are using everywhere else 
for yeah there's no other reason why we're using the time manager and not the time delta time but since we're committed into uh, making the game the whole game running into its own time manager we should just it's just good practice and the other more cases if we want to use left pivot or not okay if we're crouching or if we are aiming all this are, they do not need to be uh, public they do not need to be shown in the inspector but they can be public so on start we get the references to the time manager and the camera properties and for each camera state we have inside our uh, list we're going to basically take the pivot uh, add or yeah yeah we should add the local position of the camera pivot so what this means let me delete my prefab since I do not need it what this means when I'm well basically let's hit play and you will see and I should maximize too so here's the values I have over here let's take the example of when we are covering from the right okay when I'm aiming I want my camera to move uh, the pivot to move on the X or with 1.06 okay so what I need to write over here is 0.5 because my pivot will start already with uh, 0 0.56 and I only want to move 0.5 on the X now of course I could hard, hard code everything but that will mean that I, ha I will always have to keep in mind with for these two values and okay it's pretty much uh, way more bother than it should be for target position at this point we're not going to add anything else everything is going to be 0 0 0 or vector 3.0 0 if you will okay these are the values I am using this will probably work for you too and of course in normal minimum angle and maximum angle they do not work they were not doing anything with them so you can leave everything at zero and yeah these are the values pause the video and write them if you you haven't already so assign current state we are passing the enum type of the state we want and this we call this function it's going to look into all our state list it's going to find the one we are looking for and it's going to assign it as a return value it's going to break our for loop and if it's null then it's going to say that there is no camera state of, of the one you want so yeah go fix it and it's going to assign the return value directly to the current state since we only can have only one current state okay there's no need to return it, to return this so we're going to say we're going to override the camera properties override target and this will always be true okay I can't just go and change it on the free camera look but yeah instead of doing changes into more scripts let's just use them uh, like this if you have problems just go and change the free camera look so it always uses the well basically this comes over here and if it has the override target it uses the new target position like this or like this basically okay simple camera state so on update what's going to do is going to get the target pivot position which we take it from the current state pivot position the root position which is the target's own position okay our player's position basically and it's going to set the target position and the target position of course would be a current state target position which is the offset plus the root position we already have in our case and the users we see we will see on this video this will always be zero 
later on we're going to do some other stuff and you will see why we do it this way so if arcane state says do not ignore the why so then we can go and when we are crouching we can say our target position uh, y will be minus the crouch y we have set from the inspector then we have and we are going to the camera properties and say our new target position will be this target position if we have a left pivot or not it's going to take the dx of the target pivot position and it's going to give us the negative okay so we can look uh, from left or to the right then we are changing the camera pivot to the local position with a simple lerp from whatever local position it has to the target pivot position okay and all that by our own time manager our own delta multiplied by 5 our target field of view will be will start as the normal field of view if we are aiming it's going to change to the target field of view to the aiming field of view we assign the camera uh, the cover angle mean and max if it's not in a cover then it's just going to pass zero and we're not even using uh, the lines of code that work with uh, angle clamps and all that okay so we lerp our field of view of course and if the field of view is lower than one that will be a problem and unity will give you an error actually so we can say if the field of view is lower than one assign it to be one and apply that to our camera to our actual camera so that's it uh, for this Rest return state you pass a type the enum type and it will actually return instead of assigning it's going to return you the actual state so let's see uh, to the input handler and inside fixed update previously we had all this so we're just going to do a little bit like something like this and hit delete and voila okay we're done with the old code so and probably I should tell you I'm not going to add the camera collision in this video so I'm deleting it here we'll later see we're going to see later some other stuff with this so basically go from where we have this line of code and delete everything uh, until the end of the update or the fix update okay so here's where we're going to start our refactoring if camera states we're aiming if the state says we're aiming inform the camera states that we're aiming if it's left pivot here then we want on the camera state to be left pivot and if we're crouching the same we start with a target state which in our case the target state will be the normal if we are in cover we go and say to our actual camera properties that we are in cover but only if we are aiming so it doesn't run the it doesn't run the target state or not the target state the code that uh, clamps the uh, camera angle okay we only want to clamp the camera angle when we are at the side of uh, our cover so or we're basically if we're aiming not at the side if we're aiming so we apply uh, the cover direction and if we are aiming and we are not and we are in a crouch cover so it's the cover we have over here and not cover like this then our target state will be cover center so it's going to go over here cover center and it's going to apply the offset we have over here and the minimal and maximal angle like this if it's not this type of cover then it's the other kind so based on the cover direction we either want to use uh, the values we have for cover left or the values we have for cover right and after that the only thing left to do is go to the camera states and assign the current state to be our target state okay 
basically this is it so if I want to have a new state I can go into my camera over here say add one cover center okay add other add the whatever offset I want to have I want to have five or whatever so I can say so yeah I can come into my input color and say if states if states dot whatever yeah, I do not have something now but okay just get change the target state to be all the new enum and it's going to apply those offsets for the camera and yeah that's basically all you have to do so let's see it uh, in action once more of course that means you have to refine the offsets and the positions for all that but trust me I think it works better this way okay I think it actually feels way more tight and we actually do not have any problems with the aiming as you can see that even if I aim, aim way up it still looks like oh yeah it only has a slight offset if we are looking directly up but of course we can fix that or we can clamp how far up we can look and we are looking down like this and of course this will work with all types of weapons and so on so that was it for this video I have a lot more planned uh, a lot more stuff planned for this project I know it's been a while since we've seen an update for this but trust me we are far from over from this so you know what to do like subscribe go check out Patreon go check out Gumroad and I'll see you next time with even some way cooler stuff <laughs>